Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send SMS notifications on every chart form submission. So imagine this, a guy called as John has made a submission and uh, you want to send an SMS thanking John. Now here you have two choices. You can actually manually copy all the data from chart form into SMS sending apps like Twilio to send an SMS or you can bring in some automation. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate JotForm and Twilio. So what Pabli Connect will do is, anytime a new submission is created in JotForm, it will automatically send an SMS alert via Twilio. Now this little integration can be done in few easy steps. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. So let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. So here hover on products and now you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow. Click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as JotForm to Twilio. JotForm to Twilio. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as JotForm? because we want to send the data from chart form. That is why. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new response? Okay, so new response is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new response is created in chart form, then what action should be taken by the system? At present, there is only one trigger event, that is new response. Now in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new response is made in JotForm. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is we are just trying to integrate JotForm to Pabli Connect. So let's have a visit to JotForm. So this is my JotForm account. And as you can see, these are the forms I have. And one of these form is called as Kids Registration Form. So I am planning to integrate this particular form to Pabli Connect. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on Edit Form. Okay, so this is the edit page. Here click on the option called as settings. Click this. Okay, now you will find the option called as integrations. Click this. Okay, so out of all these options, you have to look for this option called as webhooks. Click this. Okay, so as you can see, there is already an integration up and running. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove this integration. Okay, so just click on yes, remove. Okay, and I'm going back to uh, webhook once again. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is we have to add a webhook URL. Now to get the webhook URL, let me go to Pabli Connect and copy this. This is the webhook URL you want. Simply copy this and just paste it here. Okay, so we have added the webhook URL. All we have to do is just click on complete integration. Okay, so this means that we have integrated this particular form to Pabli Connect. This means anytime a response is created in this particular form, Pabli Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Pabli Connect captures this data, let me go to Pabli Connect and click on this button, Capture Webhook Response. Click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going back to my form, okay, clicking on Publish. Okay, so as you can see, this is the URL. I'm just going to copy this link and open this in a new tab. Okay, so as you can see, this is the form. So I'm going to fill in the details. So these are the details. Okay, so the age of the guy is uh, 15. And then this is the contact. Okay, so this is the number. And just click on submit. Okay, so the form has been submitted. Okay, so let's have a look in uh, Public Connect. Has it captured the data since it is uh, integrated with uh, this particular form? 
Okay, so as you can see, the data has been captured. So the username is uh, Ashi. So basically, this is because this is an account of this guy called as Ashi. Okay, so that is being shown. And then we have the first name. So this is the respondent's name, first name, respondent's last name. This is the age of the respondent. And this is the email of the respondent, Aaron Manuel 1991 at the rate gmail.com. And of course, this is the contact number. So basically, we have to send SMS to this contact number. So to send the SMS, we are going to use Twilio. Now to establish Twilio with uh, chart form, all you have to do is just click on this plus button. When you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Twilio. Twilio. Okay, so now in the action event, how about we make it as send SMS message. Now send SMS message is an action event. There is one more action event like call phone. Now just like the triggers, if you don't find the action events according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to send an SMS message. Okay, so just click on connect with Twilio. In the new credentials, we have to fill in the account SID, authorization token, and again, the account SID. Now, to get these details, let's have a visit to Twilio. Okay, so this is my Twilio account. So I'm just going to go to this part called as the top right corner. I'm going to click on top right corner. So here you will find the option called as uh, settings. Click this. Okay, so this is my settings page. Okay, so it is again asking me to authorize. So I'm just going to fill in my password. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, these are the live credentials. So this is my account SID. All I'm going to do here is copy this. Okay, and simply paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the account SID. Now, we have also have to paste the account SID once again here. So I'm just copying this and pasting it here. I have already copied this. So I'm just pasting it here. Now comes the part called the authorization token. So to get the authorization token, let's go back to Twilio and remove this privacy. So this is your authorization token. Copy all of this and simply paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the authorization token and also we have entered the account SID two times. Okay, so our details has been entered. Just click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of uh, these blanks is very simple. We are going to construct a message from the data that we have received from JotForm and send it, send an SMS via Twilio. Now in the body of the SMS, we can type something like, uh, hey, hey, Mr. Slash Miss. And then we can just map in the name. So let me introduce you to this button. This is called as the mapping button. So all the data that we have received from JotForm will be available here. So as you can see, this is the first name. Hey, Mr. Aaron. And then we enter a gap. And uh, this is the last name. Okay. Hey, Mr. Miss Aaron. Thanks for filling out this form. Feel free to connect us, connect with us. Uh, so that's not necessary, filling out this form. Your age is, um, okay, so what was the age, 13 or 14, 12? Nope, it was 15, I guess. Okay, yeah, the age was 15. And uh, your age is 15. And your email, okay, so what was the email? So this is my email. This is the respondent's email. Okay, so we have mapped it. Excellent. So sender's numbers, that's uh, basically my number. So I'm just going to enter my uh, enter the sender number. Okay, so I have entered my sender number. And this is the recipient number. So basically, we are going to send uh, the SMS to this guy. So we are going to just map in the phone number. So the phone number is this one. Okay, so we have mapped all the details. All we have to do at this point is just click on save and send test request to send the SMS. So let me just uh, click on save and send test request. Okay, so this is the API response. It is showing the data has been sent. Okay, so let me show you the message. Okay, so this is the message. Hi, Mr. Mr. Aaron uh, Manuel. Thanks for filling out this form. Your age is 15 and your email is this. Excellent. So the presence of uh, this SMS shows that we have successfully integrated JotForm and Twilio with help of Public Connect. So how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not. But uh, before we do that, let me explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to minimize this action window and I'm going to minimize this trigger window. Okay, so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated JotForm to Public Connect and then you have integrated Public Connect to Twilio. So now there is a perfect flow of data between JotForm and Twilio. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going back to my JotForm. Okay, 
I'm just copying this link and opening this in a new tab. And I'm going to refill this form with different detail. So this time it is going to be filled by this guy called as Tom Cruise. So the age of Tom Cruise is he's just 14 years. And this is his phone number. Okay, so this is his phone number. So let me just click on submit. Okay. So let's have a look whether uh, Tom Cruise has received a SMS. Okay, so this is the SMS. And uh, the presence of this SMS shows that our integration is working absolutely fine. This means anytime a new response is made in JOT form, it will be reflected as a SMS via Twilio. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.